Welcome back guys, today I came up with a new video in which I will be telling you how to uh, take care of your pen, of your fountain pen because if you are using a fountain pen that means it's like a small kid you have to treat it uh, so carefully so that it should last long. In today's video again same I have these three pens uh, which I reviewed before if you want please go and check those uh, videos. If you are using a pen like this, in which you have a feeder mechanism and there is no such cotton uh, ball like uh, you will see some, some of the pens must be having some cotton going inside uh, the feed. So this is not like that. So it, it has a capillary mechanism uh, in which uh, the feed is like this. The feed is like this and two lines of um, two grooves are going from here here is your cartridge and from here your ink is going through this holes and then bubble is coming out of here so air is passed into the uh, cartridge so this is how it works so if you want to uh, the ink is made up of some powder uh, most of the inks are water based ink and that's why powder if, uh, if it stucks in this uh, passage then it will create an obstruction for the ink flow and that will actually reduce your ink flow and then you'll feel that the pen is uh, lagging like this if you see here it is. so if you don't want to have it happen so in that case you can uh, first of all for this you have to use your pen regularly if you're not using you just uh, do one thing you just uh, clean it uh, with some uh, warm water or cold water so you can use clean it and just keep it aside because if you are not using a pen that means the ink will dry up because uh, obviously it is made up of the ink is made up from water and powder if uh, if you are not using your pen that means ink will the water in the ink will evaporate and that's why it will create some uh, powder residue to uh, actually sit in this in this gap so you, sh you don't want to, this to happen so for that if you are not using the best advice is just clean it up keep it aside that's the best way uh, if you don't want to damage your pen now if you have already damaged your pen means this is gone if it is not writing you are doing something and this is making some scratchy sound and ink is not coming out of it then in that case you can do one thing just remove your barrel your cartridge keep it aside take a cup of water or glass of water whatever you have and just do like this and shake it a little this is the best way to get out uh, get out of this so because ink which is there on this feed will again dissolve with this water and like this it will happen see the water drop whatever coming so it is so ink is coming out of it now just after doing so take one paper towel and clean it completely and after doing so also um, Can attach it back <coughs> your barrel start writing see but if you have a pen like this this fellowship fountain pen that I have here oh it's already damaged so ink is there let me clear it up if uh, this is an adobo pen uh, if you have pen like this make sure that uh, its barrel is uh, at least half full every time otherwise it will spill ink like this if you can see here it has already some ink is there on this cap and all so if you don't want just uh, every time make sure that the ink barrel is at least half full in that case nothing will happen now if you if you just shake this pen then the ink will spill out of this pen 
okay so if you have pain like this in that case you just open this barrel and then simply just drop it into the water and it will work but still if it is not working that means your pain needs some extra efforts now in this case if you can see I have changed the camera angle now here you have a blade you want a you need a blade like this it is a thin blade and don't use that uh, blade which comes with the cutter it's not it's a thicker one you want you need will need a thinner one and you can see this groove which is there on this nib like this one so you have to take this and gently just insert your blade in that groove but don't tr uh, try to touch that feed with the blade and just like this you do after the feed completes like here it is complete so here I'm passing that blade like this and just bring like this what this will do is nothing but some paper residues will be there on this uh, point so you want to you will need to just remove that paper residue then it will work fine so it will take a little time to just sit and then see after it ink comes into that feed that nib times it will start working so personally i found that this is the best method instead of uh, removing that feed and nib uh, i think this you can do and if it if this is not working in that case you might have to wash it with some soap water you can do that but uh, make sure that you remove all the soap whatever procedure we have done before so in that instead of using a, s a simple normal uh, cold water or hot water you can use hot water also but not that hot otherwise it will damage your uh, pen so now my advice is uh, clean the pen regu at regular interval of one week two week if every time if you find some time then just clean it up uh, then clean using some normal water um, you can add some soap uh, in that water but uh, after washing it with the soap water make sure that you clean it up with uh, some normal water and then uh, I will explain this in detail in the further videos uh, if you if you want me to explain those uh, please uh, write in the comment section below so if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching